Hello everybody and welcome back to the Youth Academy Only Save with Guys Leon FM23. Now we are getting to the end of the FM23 life cycle, so we're running out of time for this save. But it's Youth Intake Day, so let's go and see what we've got. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the save and diving into the Premier League table, we are currently 6th with 8 games to go. Now the teams above us, other than Liverpool, only have 7 games to go so if we win our game in hand we will leapfrog Chelsea into fifth and then only be two points off Man City and West Ham and be five points off Spurs who are top it has been a very very good season this year never dropping below seventh seventh actually was our uh, lowest place and it was very recently but we've been top twice we've been second one two three four five times Never been third. Uh, we've been fourth one, two, three, four, five, six times. So we're, we're, we're pretty good this season. We've been pretty good this season. It's actually only a tough run of games towards the end of the season, which we've been struggling. But since the Super Cup, loads of wins. A loss to Everton in the EFL Cup third round. Loads of wins and draws. A loss to Plymouth in the Premier League. Basically, we've only lost in the league to Plymouth, Tottenham, Chelsea, uh, we lost to Real Madrid in the Champions League, uh, we lost to Everton again in the Premier League and then we've just lost to Chelsea and Liverpool both in the league as well. So an unbelievable season really where we've only lost six games in the league. You can see it there, that would be an easier way to show it wouldn't it? Liverpool, Chelsea, Everton, Chelsea, Tottenham, Plymouth. So yeah, really interesting. We're into the Champions League knockouts as well. We did get through uh, in that competition where the holders obviously are West Ham, which is just still weird to say. But in the league phase, we finished second behind Chelsea. Uh, played 8, won 7, lost 1, which was to Real Madrid. Uh, Chelsea went 8 from 8, though. 24 goals for 4 against 20 goal difference, uh, which was very nice for them. In the knockout phases, some big teams did get knocked out. PSG, uh, Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, who got knocked out by Gladbach, which was stinging for them. Uh, Real Madrid did get knocked out by Villarreal as well. So, interesting. West Ham squeezed through against Leipzig on penalties and then into the round of 16 we got drawn against Union Berlin 1-1 uh, we are from the first leg there we got an away goal which was nice the next leg will be at home um, but you can see here so Napoli have knocked out Benfica Liverpool have knocked out Lorient Everton have knocked out Villarreal Milan have knocked out Monaco uh, Gladbach and Nice is 1-1 West Ham are 4-1 up against Chelsea and Man United are 2-0 up against Barcelona so it's all happening really it's all happening and we've We've been performing very well in the league. Carlos Victoriano got over his little strop and then signed a new contract for another three years. So he's still wanted by Liverpool and Tottenham, but he now has a very big transfer fee and a bigger wage as well, a hundred grand a week for him. But if we look appearances wise, John Carpenter, El Tufe, and Carlos Victoriano are the top appearance makers. In terms of goals, Crimson Mori is back amongst the goals. Thirty-three in forty games, this or forty starts. This season, 17 for Jeff Hogg, 17 for Andrew Neeson, 8 for Phil Carney. But what you will notice is that Phil Carney tops the assist list with 16 this season because he's actually been utilised as a midfield left or a striker. Because his best position is midfield left, we've been using him out there and having a partnership of Crimson Mori and Jeff Hogg up front. And it has been paying uh, dividends. It's been playing, paying really, really well. It is, uh, it is good. But yes, you can see Aaron Gray on the other flank getting a lot of assists as well. Jeff Hogg uh, stepping in with a few, which is good. And the other thing is, good or bad, depending how you're looking at it, we've had a pretty settled team for this year. Not that many injuries. Touch wood. Um, a lot of substitute appearances for the same sort of people. There are a few names in here that were upset. So well, they're not in here anymore because they've been loaned out. But there are a few names that you would have known from previous squads that have been a bit upset with a lack of game time. So they've now moved on um, to loan just to make sure they're getting some games. John Moshimetti, Big Dez and Kai Harding have all gone out on loan to uh, get some better game time. And it is actually working as well. Um, I can't remember how you look at... Is it in club info or is it scouting where you get your loan? How do you see your loan things I could, there's a there's a there's a page isn't there you can see lo loans there we go yeah people out on loan so appearances 
Um, so all of our players get in lots of loans. Kai Harding, John Mosmetti, and Big Des have only been there for a couple of months. So 7, 12, and 12 is still very good. Um, assist wise, well, I mean, Cassim from centre. Is that? No, he's not the centre back, is he? He's the midfielder, yeah. Because in Mosmetti already up there with four assists. Um, as well, which is good. Big uh, Faris Winder on loan at Barrow is banging him in. 12 for Barrow, he's got at the moment. We've got nine for Madison, four for Fintan straight at Burnley. So you're getting a lot of game time there, which is good. And uh, yeah, everyone out on loan is doing well. But I know that you're here because it's youth intake day. So together, let's go and have a look. And here it is. It's the annual youth intake day ready for assessment. Uh, they're, lift, they're led by the very gifted Seb Arts, who is a Dutch left midfielder, which will fit our system very nicely. Um, it could be a golden generation, that's what we've been told again. Last year was, was a golden generation, but this is three elite talents, three top talents. One, two, three, four, five uh, good talents, and then five decent talents as well. And a, a big range of nationalities. Moroccan... South African, Irish, Brazilian, German, Greek, Welsh, Dutch, Irish, English. Yeah, love it. Love to see a range of nationalities. So, first up, Stuart Cartwright, one-star current ability, two-star potential. Again, not bad for a level of that current and potential ability. Inverted winger, unambitious, level-headed. Um, yeah, we'll see. Our, our youth academy is pretty stacked right now as you would imagine because the the deadwood gets moved on the people that don't progress do get released on a free pretty early out of their contract so only the good survive hence why our under 21s and under 18s are winning quite a lot of their competitions uh, or, or getting at least very far in them if they're not winning it but Stuart Cartwright doesn't look too bad five for 11 um, as well so not not short but not tall uh, good pace good acceleration balance natural fitness is looking good uh, free kick taking technique work rate vision yeah not too bad for Stuart Cartwright um, from Morocco Amin Barabe defender center half a star current and two star potential so jumping reach is very good at 15 height six foot five um, unambitious isn't the best concentration's low but teamwork's good leadership's good uh, tackling heading yeah not bad not bad I, I, we've got to the point in the save that i know that these sort of lower potential players if they they're not really going to make it they could be good fodder um i don't mind giving them contracts and loaning them out and seeing how they do but um an unambitious personality i'm sort of like he's never going to really put the effort in to, uh, to become the best he can, I don't think. So next up, uh, Louis Brown, right back, right wing back, one star, or oh, half a star current ability, two star potential. No, don't need to focus on him. He's pretty terrible. He won't be getting a contract. Uh, Mohamed Dixon Blair, right midfielder, centre midfielder, right back, or right wing back, and attack midfield right, half a star current ability, one and a half potential, really determined, good work rate, decent teamwork, good technique, good natural fitness. He's fairly determined, so I'm not going to write him off just yet Dixon Blair potentially could do something but not a hundred percent sure to be honest for Mohammed Dixon Blair as usual we're flying through this first lot of decent talents uh, midfield left or central mid no defender left or midfield center Scott Gibb uh, half a star current ability two star potential Scott Gibb is very very brave he's a balanced personality he's five foot nine physicals are lacking He's, he'll work for you, he's got good teamwork, he's determined, he's concentrating, and he's brave. Which is all attributes I would normally look for, I'm just worried about that potential. Technique 13, free kick taking 10, first touch 8, crossing 9, corner 6. I'll tell you what we need in our team. We need someone who's a bloody good corner taker, because our corners are pretty awful, to be honest. Right, we fly through the decent talents, on to the good. Now the good talents are players that when compared to our current squad, their potential suggests they're going to be decent around the first team. Fairly good for the senior team. So these people normally have a bit more of a stab at, uh, at getting into the first team. So first up, Regan Fenty Critchlow, which RFC, lovely name. Uh, striker or attacking midfielder. We use both of those positions in our formation. So one star current ability, two and a half star potential. He's unambitious. He's five foot ten. Um, like places shots, dictates tempo, looks for pass rather than attempting to score, tries to play away at his level. Looks for pass rather than attempting to score with finishing 13. I don't think so. Get rid of that. Uh, acceleration 12, natural fitness 15, teamwork 12, work rate 15, technique 12, finishing 13, dribbling 12. That is a good base for a striker. It's not too bad at all. Composure needs to be better, decisions need to be better. 
Um, but yeah, there's something there to work with, I think, from Regan Fenty Critchlow, who we will call RFC. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. There Again, there's two and a half stars worth of growth, which if they go in the right positions, could work reasonably well. Um, not too bad. Next up, Ben Quinn from Ireland. Midfield right, midfield left. We use both of those positions. Uh, half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. Ben Quinn is balanced. A five foot, 10, 15 year old. Uh, pace is good. 11, acceleration 14, agility 12, balance 11, aggression 12, teamwork 17, work rate 13, all very good determination 10, crossing 9, dribbling 10, free kick taking 10, passing 8, technique 11. Again, it's a good base. It's a very good base. Right footed, so we we'll prefer to play on the right in our system, but can play on the left. Phil Carney is showing that this season, that playing on the left with your right foot is not a hindrance at all. But yeah, not bad. Not bad, old Ben Quinn. Uh, yeah, there's there's potential. There is there is two, two and a half stars of it, but there is room for growth. Next up, midfield left, defensive mid, oh, defender left as well. From South Africa is Martin Kubeheki. Half a star current ability, three star potential, driven and five foot ten. Pace 13, stamina 12, agility 13, acceleration 11, bravery 13, determination 18, flair 14, off the ball 10, teamwork 13, first touch 11. Really needs to work on his technicals. Mentals do look good for a 16-year-old. And physicals aren't too bad either. So another one, which I think will get a contract and we'll see how he develops. Gets crowd going is a good trait as well for when you're at home. It does give the players a little bit of a boost. Um, if you go behind, I think it is, then they get the crowd going back on your side. But uh, yeah, so maybe an attacking fullback, but we don't play with those or definitely... Um, could mould him into a sort of defensive winger, but I think we're lacking a bit here, so we'll try and use him on a more attacking position on that left wing if he ever breaks through. Next up, centre-back or right-back from Brazil. Hailing from Brazil, which is always good fun. Half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. Renan, or Renan? Renan, I think it'd be Renan. Uh, six foot, fairly professional. He's going to get a contract. Jumping reach, 12. Fitness, 15. Balance, 14. Decisions 13, determination 13, positioning 10, bravery 18, needs to be a little bit more aggressive for me. Uh, tackling 11, technique 11, again, good base, work on his heading, work on his marking. I don't know if you can even train aggression, maybe put him in a boxing ring with Roy Keane, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, get his strength up, strength, key ones, heading, marking, strength, get all those up and you've got a decent centre back. Uh, on your hands concentration needs to be a bit higher otherwise he's going to resemble titus bramble and uh that's a bit of a worry but yeah i like it renan from 15 from 15 from brazil and he's the sort of player that if i was england manager in this game i would give him a cap because i always go through and find new gens that are brazilian and english and make sure that they get an england cap so that they can't play for brazil in case they're very good uh but yeah that's that's just what i do if you want to know how i do international management in this game. Uh, next up, midfield left, midfield centre, Lee Carter. Half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. Lee Carter, yeah, not bad casual personality though. Don't really like a bit of casualness. You've got to be driven, got to be professional, got to be resolute, model, citizen, perfectionist, things like that. But yeah, passing 11, teamwork 16, work rate 14, aggression 10, acceleration 12, balance 12, natural fitness 13, stamina 11, not looking too bad. Passing's not bad either. I think for a bit of a central midfielder at 11. So there is, again, there's room we can potentially grow and mould Lee Carter into what we want it to what we want him to be. Um, whether he breaks through with that, I don't know. But he'll be a good addition to the youth team. Uh, right, that is all the good talents. On to the top talents. But before we go on to the top talents, a little request. Hit that subscribe button. Why not? It's free. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, get subscribed. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. And if you're wondering why this video is slightly late today or later in release, it's because I've just been streaming over on Twitch. So I am streaming on Twitch for a bit of EAFC24 and it's really hard to not call it FIFA. But the link will be in the description below uh, if you want to go over there and follow me on Twitch every Wednesday unless I'm not in the country. Every Wednesday, we will be streaming around about 1 o'clock UK time, um, hopefully a little bit earlier some days, but we'll have to see how it goes. We're going to be doing a career mode with Tottenham on that one. So uh, if you've missed this first episode that was done today because you've only found out by watching this video, make sure you're around next Wednesday. And it does mean that every video that's released on a Wednesday will be slightly later um, so that it doesn't clash with the stream. 
but yes so go hit that subscribe button go and follow me over on twitch both of them are free um, and it does support the channel as well and of course while we've got a break let's do the question of the day question of the day is which youth intake player is your favorite it's the easiest question to do for question of the day when we're doing a youth intake so yeah um there we go right back to it top talents one star current current ability four star potential midfield right midfield left radimir feed and before we click on him i'm, I'm expecting quite a jump from these guys in the good to these guys in the top because of the potential rating. So Radomir Fade from Germany. Um, okay, balanced personality, 5 for 8, 15 years old. Pace 12, fitness 15, agility 13, acceleration 10, balance 11, aggression 15. Love that. Anticipation 9, composure 8 isn't amazing. Off the ball 10, teamwork 10, work rate 12, technique 13. Uh, crossing 13, which is very helpful. Dribbling 9, first touch 9 needs to be improved. But again, it's a very decent base for a 15-year-old. For a like, there's a lot of growth there. There is a lot of, lot of growth. Work on decisions and concentration. Uh, potentially work on, like, passing just to get him that good stat up as well. Yeah, I, I'm not against Radomir Fee. This is, this is not looking too bad on intake. Not as good as last year so far, but definitely not looking too bad. Uh, midfield center... One star current ability, three and a half star potential is Tino Buchet, which I immediately read as Tino Bucket, so that might be a nickname for him. Uh, Tino Bucket coming from Greece, Germany and England with some majestic hair that I know Dave in the comments is going to be uh, fair. It's going to be a fan of that hair, I think. It does sort of look like it's been plonked on the front of his head, but I don't mind it. Um, First touch, 13. Bravery, 13. Decisions, 14. Determination, 12. Flair, 13. Positioning, 12. Teamwork, 11. Tackling, 11. Passing, 10. Fitness, 12. Stamina, 11. And he tries long-range passes as well. Yes, he looks like a central midfielder or holding midfielder I would very much enjoy using in the future. Fairly professional as well. Very nice. Tino Bucket does... Look, I mean, that's got to happen now, hasn't it? I mean, I've already, I've already set the trend. Tino Bucket. I was very tempted, and this will be a very niche UK reference, to go with... Uh, was it Bouquet? Uh, what was it? Keeping Up Appearances? I think it was Mr. and Mrs. Bouquet, but it was spelt Bucket. So I was going to put Bouquet, but we'll go Tino Bucket because it's just fun. So Tino Bucket looking very, very good indeed right we have um, Aled Jones no Aled Griffiths Aled Jones is the guy that sung that Christmas song about walking in the air uh, one star current ability four star potential left back right back centre back Aled Griffiths is fairly sporting don't get many of those six foot two very angry looks very very angry um, technique 15 that's impressive work great 14 teamwork 17 decisions 13 bravery 14 aggression needs to be a bit higher with all those other attributes but determination 10 uh, balance 13, jumping reach 13, fitness 12, pace 8, 9 for stamina. He's definitely a centre-back and definitely not a left-back. But uh, get the heading up, get the marking up, get the aggression up again. And we've got the makings of a very good centre-back there in Aled Griffiths. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? It's good when you start getting these youngsters through consistently. Very nice indeed. And then, then we go into the elite talents which is very exciting they're they're gifted the very gifted seb arts will leave till last the dutch left midfielder but before him then we'll look at the goalkeeper first we seem to be blessed with very good goalkeepers and we're going to have another one coming through our ranks damian Byrne, um one and a half star current ability four and a half star potential damian Byrne is looking very good for a very young goalkeeper he's 15 5 foot 11 is quite small for a goalkeeper but a 15 resilient and he has aerial reach 9, command of area 11, communication 9, handling 14, kicking 9, one on ones 9, reflexes 15, throwing 9, uh, aggression 16, anticipation 9, concentration 9, decisions 12, positioning 10, teamwork 13, agility 9, fitness 12, pace 11. Okay, literally work on his distribution and work on his concentration and his agility and you have a fantastic goalkeeper. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Damien Byrne is 
in the uh, he's going to be in the club. Isn't he? He's going to be joining. Uh, next up, Ewan McAndrew, attack midfield left or striker or attack midfield right. One and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential. He is a fairly determined 15 year old who is six foot tall. Pace 12, acceleration 14, agility 12, finishing 12, flair 12, determination 16, work rate 10, technique 11, first touch 11, dribbling 10. Off the ball, eight is low. That needs to be worked on. Concentration, five is very, very low. That needs to be worked on. Teamwork, five needs to be worked on. That is very, very low. But it's a very good starting place for a four and a half star potential winger. This is very nice. I mean, you could put him up front as well, finishing 12, get that composure up, or just make him shoot with power so he doesn't have to worry about any composure. But yeah, I like it. I like Ewan McAndrew. Yes, I do. That is looking very good. And then on to the superstar of the 2060-2060 youth intake. That is mental that we're doing this. It is midfield left from Holland. One and a half star current ability, five star potential, Seb Arts. He is balanced personality, five foot ten from Venlo, 15 years old. Those physicals are absolutely bonkers for a 15-year-old. He has, ignoring strength, which is 4, stamina, 10, pace, 15, fitness, 13, balance, 12, agility, 15, acceleration, 15, jumping reach, 8, but that's fine, he's a winger, um, aggression, 18, determination, 14, off the ball, 12, teamwork, 17, work rate, 15, yes. Yeah, there is nothing bad about this because the technical attributes are the easiest ones to improve with Game time in the youth system, a good training setup, good coaches, those technical ones will improve. So I am very excited about Seb Art. I don't think he's even going to be out. I don't think it's going to be long till he's in and around the first team. Um, he's got a balanced personality, so hopefully we can mentor him to being professional or driven or resolute or something like that. But yes, yes, please. That is an intake. Again, I'm very happy with two in a row to sh that show that we're really on the march here this is really really good with what we got coming through so let me know down below which which person are you most excited about um tino bucket is looking very good for a central midfielder like battling in there which is good seb arts obviously looks very good um ian mcandrew damian byrne i don't know maybe you all have different favorite intake players in this uh, this intake that we've had this year but who's to know as i said before please do leave a subscribe Please leave a subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll be doing more of these Foot Manager videos. And there will be more Foot Manager content coming with the soon to be released FM24, which I'm very excited about. Now, I asked in a previous episode, what sort of save am I going to be doing? Um, there's been one or two answers that are very close to what I'm doing, but it's very. I don't know if anyone's ever done it, tried it. I'm not too sure. We'll have to find out. It's going to be long term again. Um, it's not going to be just with one club. And it's not going to be a build a nation save, which is what a lot of people have suggested it will be. So it's not going to be that. Maybe we'll do one of those on Twitch. Who knows? But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. I just wanted to end it with a little bit of a spoiler of my plans for FM24. Not that I've really given too much away. But thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.